It's Gunbird time! Welcome back to another Mythic Plus guide. This time we're venturing into the Vault of the Wardens. Let's do it! So the first boss is Theraton Celteril. Kind of an interesting boss as uh, the strategy for him varies from week to week. But I'll try to cover everything. Let's start off with his base abilities. He will use Dark Strikes on himself. This is a buff that makes his hits give him a shield if the target hasn't prepared an active mitigation. Should this go off, just DPS the shield down. Uh, he will call down Fell Mortars, which will create fire on the ground. Just don't stand in those. He will also swoop to a random location, knock back everyone stood there and c start casting Furious Blast. This is an extremely hard hitting ability, however it can be interrupted, so please do that. Then comes the scenario when he decides to go Havoc or Vengeance. Firstly, in his Havoc form he will use Hatred uh, and a passive immolation aura. Hatred is essentially eye beam and you don't want to stand where that hits. In his Vengeance form he will instead throw his glaives away, creating a chain which moves around the room. This is super deadly so avoid that at all costs. Down the elevator you will face Inquisitor Tormentorum. Uh, he only has three abilities but at the same time manages to be one of the most annoying bosses. So first and foremost, he will use Sap Soul. And here's the annoying part. In normal and heroic, this ability can be interrupted. However, here not so much. So what you want to do is when this goes off, you want to have an ability that you don't care much about at the ready. Because when you use that ability, its cooldown will be increased by 10 seconds. This is mostly important for tanks and healers, and I have screwed this up several times by panicking as a tank. It wouldn't have been so bad if he didn't summon these uh, annoying eyes that if you, uh, if you don't stare at them, they will disorient you. And for some reason they seem to bug out as well, but keep looking at them and it should be fine most of the time. Lastly, he will teleport away and summon adds two times during the fight. These adds contain mobs from previous expansions and should be just killed off. For the next two bosses you can choose the order. Let's cover Ash Golem first. He will create lava which will move around the area in a clear pattern, so stay out of it. He will also stomp the ground, spawning fissures towards the tank. The important thing to know however is his volcanoes. They will spew crap around the room which you need to move from, but they will also spawn adds. You will need to kill this off ASAP. Worth noting is that if these adds are hit by the lava that's moving around, they will start to detonate, dealing pretty high damage to everyone. So it might be a good idea to soak some of the lava going towards them. Another thing you can do is to use the countermeasures at the sides. This is activated by clicking the pedestals at the edges of the area. This will freeze the boss and the adds for a short while and remove the lava. The boss will take additional damage while frozen so just nuke him. And this can only be used once though. Next up is Glazer. This boss is all about how well you can avoid stuff, mainly the pulse he shoots out. This will bounce around the room and if it hits a player it will split into smaller pulses. You should try your best to make these hit the boss, as he will take the damage instead. He will sometimes gaze at the target, creating a pool of shit under them. Simply move out of that. Lastly, he will focus a beam towards a random player. Lenses will now start appearing over the room. What you wanna do is to re uh, redirect his beam so that it hits him. This will then break his shield and stun him for a brief period. In Mythic, a new lens will also spawn, called Overloaded Lens, and this needs to be destroyed AS ASAP or else it will explode for massive damage. After a dark descent, you will reach Cardana Felsong. This is probably the most interesting and notorious boss in Legion so far. Firstly, you should assign a player to grab the light, preferably a mobile DPS or a healer. Okay, so Cardana herself will use a roundhouse kick on the tank frequently. This will knock the tank away, so be sure to not stand near a ledge. She will create pools of crap underneath players that will continue growing. The player with the light should either stand or throw the light in the pool to shrink it. She will do this rather often, so be on your toes. Then she will throw glaives at random locations and just move from this. After a while she will shadow step away and create an ad. This ad steals the light and needs to be killed quickly. After retrieving the light, that player should try to unveil Cardana as she will move around throwing fell glaives. Uh, then she will cast creeping doom. This will summon spirits that slowly moves across the platform. Keep in mind that in Mythic, these spirits will like they will spawn more often. Here you want to run as a group and try to find an open hole to run through. Again, only the player with the light can show you where it is. Though I've heard that using flare works too. After this is done, she will summon another ad. 
This will spawn at one of the four corners and the light bearer should immediately go there and unveil it. After killing it, try to nuke the boss as much as possible as things will quickly spiral out of control otherwise. She will use Creeping Doom again, but this time she'll run with you instead of remaining in the middle. The tank needs to watch the turn kick so he doesn't get knocked off into a spirit as that may just well be a wipe. That's basically it. That's what you need to know from here. So if you enjoyed the guide, be sure to assault the like button and don't forget to subscribe. Gun, we're out!